More than 1.7 million Americans are treated for brain injuries each year, and the main causes stroke, car crashes, bad falls, and assault. But did you know that a hard hit to your head can cause a brain tsunami? It can kill off your brain cells in just a matter of days? Wink News health and medical reporter Amy Osher explains how researchers found a way to stem the storm and save brain tissue. A tsunami, a massive wave of destruction. But it doesn't just happen on the coast, it can happen inside your brain. These brain tsunamis or spreading depolarizations happen in people who've suffered a traumatic brain injury, or TBI. What we're finding out is um, a likely culprit in more and more diseases than we ever thought imaginable. Um, it's it's kind of like the hidden iceberg below the surface. After a TBI, brain cells can begin to short circuit and die. For the first time ever, researchers at the University of Cincinnati have found a way to diagnose and test tsunamis to prevent more. This has actually been revolutionary in terms of how we think about how we treat brain injury patients. Neurosurgeon Laura Nwanga is using the same technology they currently use to monitor TBI patients, but with a new algorithm. We place an electrode strip on the surface of the brain, and this allows us to detect seizure activity, but it also allows us to detect these abnormal brain tsunamis. Researchers found the drug ketamine can stop the wave. Also, doctors can monitor blood pressure and body temperature to prevent spreading depolarizations. Amy Osher, Wink News.